Yeah. It's our parents. And they're wearing hacker masks. Are we just a family of hackers? I don't know, but they want to meet us. You must go to the following location. The coordinates of this location are 25, 16, 84, 92. It doesn't seem like they're going to make it easy. We got to do a mission. A mission to find them? Of course. But they say they're waiting for us. We have to find them, even if they're hackers. They're still our parents. Once you find this location, your mission will be to bring back the leader of Project Zorgo. What? Bring back the PZ leader? What do they mean by that? Who cares? If it means we get to see our parents again, then I'll bring back whoever. I'll bring back Benjamin Franklin if we have to. <laughs> I don't know. This could be really dangerous if we bring him back. Dangerous for who? The spy ninjas? I don't care anymore, Regina. You're right. Let's just go meet our parents. Oh, I can't believe we're going to meet mom and dad and their hackers. We've only been trying to meet them for the past month or two. And it's been taking so long because of the spy ninjas. Well, it's been ruining our plans. I know. And for so long, it was like, why are they so obsessed with our family? But hey, it makes sense now, Melvin. They've been trying to stop us because they knew this whole time that we our parents want us to bring back the Project Zorro leader. He's an evil, evil guy. He ruined the lives of so many people, including Chad and V. He isn't that evil. I don't know. Isn't he just a robot guy and he lost to all of us? That's true. I mean, we beat him once. I bet if we bring him back, he's not going to be as powerful. And what if it means like spiritually or something? You know, like reinstill the values of Project Zorgo. Bring it back to how it used to be, where we actually used to do stuff and take over channels. Well, if mom and dad want us to do this, and if this is the only way we can meet them, then I'm down. We're coming close on the coordinates, Regina. Keep an eye out. What? People haven't been here for ages. Halloween's over. Come on. Is this our parents' house? They decorated for Halloween? Someone lives here, Melvin. I think this is it. This is where the coordinates led. Okay, let's just ring. Are you sure we should just ring? Do it. What? It's not working, Melvin. I'm yeah. nervous. This is, we're literally, they're inside there right now. We're gonna meet them. Are you ready? Not really. Well, shouldn't they be expecting us? They know that we saw this video and they know we're headed to these coordinates. They ought to be here. Why do they gotta make it so difficult for us, Regina? It would be like our parents to do that. They left the door open for us. Melvin, see? They know we're coming. They made it easy for us. They want to meet their children. Whoa, look at all this equipment. Our parents work out. They're probably really muscular. This is a good sign. This is probably Papa's equipment. You know, Papa's probably super buff. Just like you. Not really. <laughs> I'm getting soft. <laughs> a little squish. Yeah. This is cool, but it feels weird using someone's gym equipment that I don't know. We haven't even confirmed if this is a house or not. Once we're a family again, we could be working out as a family. Yeah, you could use it. Is that rude? No, you're right. Maybe it's rude, but you're right. Yeah, like, sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic, another door. I mean, at least knock. Mom? Dad, the lights are on. There's a big window there. I think people might be home. Well, no one's answering the door. Melvin. Let's just go. Oh, you're not shy. Oh. Hello. If this is the Genera residence, this is PZ9 and PZ4, AKA Melvin and Regina entering the house. Your children, by the way. You sent us here via video message and coordinates. Oh, it's toasty in here. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, maybe that means that someone's here. That's the only reason why all the lights are on and the heater's on. Someone's definitely here. Look at this. Warm welcome. Look at how cozy it is. It smells like Filipinos. I'm just kidding, I don't know. Hello? Mom? Someone uh, was just here. TV's on and the water's running. Wait, Melvin, be respectful. Take your shoes off. This is a Filipino household. Look, their shoes. Yeah. That's probably your papa's shoes. He's got big feet. The water, let the water running. Why would they leave the water running? It's still hot. I mean, yeah, it's on the hot temperature doesn't just get cold. Do you think our parents live here? Look, Barcelona, London, Italia. They've been all over the world. They're well-traveled. We can travel the world. Mom, dad, it's 
It's me, Regina. Mom? Dad? Oh, sweet. German chocolates. Whoa! Our parents came from Germany? I don't know. They could have come from wherever, but hey, this is for our troubles of getting here. Let's try it. They probably left all this food out here for us. But why aren't they here? Mom, Dad, maybe they'll meet us here. I don't know. What? Well, Melvin? Oh! Melvin? What do they watch? Uh, is that? <gasps> Melvin! Is that, is that, is that you? That's you! Why are they, what? No way. This is our house or something. We used to live here. Oh, you're doing exercises. Where are you in all of this? Maybe I wasn't born yet. I'm not that much older than you, relax. <laughs> Well, we obviously have to listen to it. Our parents put on home videos of us as Just children. Just oh. and you're getting everything. Oh, him. Take care of Lolo. Um, make sure he gets his medicine and take care of him. And um, hey, um, flush him. No, you're a triple header. You did that in prison. You're a triple header. <laughs> That's just yeah. Melvin. We have family! Look! There's this random dude pushing you around. Maybe we have an older brother. You're a triple header. <laughs> You're a little cutie. Stop. Look at those cheeks. Are they trying Look to give us some cheeks? Turn it off. We have family. We have a Lola. You said take care of Lolo. That's grandma and grandpa in Tagalog. Where are you in all of this? I don't know. But I've seen baby videos of me. I've never seen baby videos of you yet. Maybe they're showing you your baby video. I'm not really a baby in here. Like, I, I don't know. I look like, maybe, is this nine or eight? PZ9, we're home. I knew this was home. Maybe there's more baby videos. Whoa, Melvin. Is that a security camera? There's two people in masks. Is that mom and dad? Uh, looks like it could be. It's a live feed, Regina. They're here. Where, They're where somewhere is that here. Room? That looks outside. They're outside. Take a look, see. No way. Look. They're like gardening right now. They're watering the plants. Makes sense. There's a lot of greenery in here. Yeah. Get the shoes. We gotta say hi. This is our moment. The shoes, the shoes. You don't want to you don't want to get your socks dirty. How do I look? You look like Regina. Okay, good. You look like Melvin. Alright. <gasps> I don't know what to say. I can't do it. I'm too nervous. No, just say hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. No, you do it, Regina. I'm nervous. I'm gonna surprise them. Okay. Surprise! Hi, Dad! Dad? What are you doing here? You're definitely Peter's hackers. Peter sent us to follow you. <laughs> Uh, are you serious? Yeah. You thought you'd meet your parents? <laughs> we are going to meet our parents. Tell us what you know about them. We're not going to tell you anything. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Get off me. Regina, here. Here. <laughs> you okay, Regina? How are you? What? Oh, no. It's got a weapon. Hey! Oh no! Stay down! Nice. Okay. I, I don't know how you guys found that we were here, but you need to tell Peters that we're gonna meet our parents no matter what. You guys can't get in the way of that. <laughs> Yeah, do it, Regina. Tell us what you know about our parents, or you're gonna get more of this chinelas. Which means sliver. You want this? No. <laughs> then tell us what you know about our parents. Why are you here? Fine, we'll tell you. They're definitely inside, but you gotta let us go, please. Is that all you know? What else do you know? They got a bow tie and a suit on. That's all we know. That's them. Yes. All right. Please, just let us go. Yeah, well, you can go, but only <coughs> if you tell Peters one thing when you see him. Fine, what? Tell him 
that he's a quadruple header. <laughs> I just learned that one from my past self. Okay, fine. Let us go. I don't know what that means. Bye. Bye. Thanks for the info. Uh, Get out. Yeah, Get that's out. right. Oh, I'm going to parents are in there, Melvin! Oh, we did it. Well, we better go check quick. Okay. If Peters is sending his hackers here, then who knows who else knows our position? Then anybody else can know our whereabouts. Especially the spy ninjas. Let's we don't go. want them to get to our parents before we do. Let's do it! I think I'm gonna hack onto the security camera just to make sure mom and dad actually live here. There's gotta be footage of them. I don't have a phone because the stupid spy ninja stole it! Oh, forgot. Well, I have mine, but I'm not gonna give you my passcode. Okay, well, just open it then. I don't wanna see oh. your stuff anyways. I don't know who you text? Some girl in Germany. Oh, is that her? I've never seen her. You never? I never show you photos. No, she's so cute. Red hair. I love it. Yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, no, it's none of your business. Anyways, here, do it. Okay. See this, parents? You'll be proud of me. I can hack. And Melvin, he can fight. I think we can rewind the footage now. Melvin, like two hours ago. Okay. Oh, okay. Look. Well, there's no footage of them leaving the house, so I think they're upstairs. I think they're just like waiting for us to come upstairs. They have a big surprise, maybe. I don't even care if this is a trap or some kind of elaborate prank. I just feel like this is it. And we're learning more about who we are and where we're from. We're gonna have purpose, Regina. I can't do it. I can't meet our parents. I need a poop. I just I just battle royale no stretch. It's still morning time. We're about to meet her parents. Okay, go poop. It's a stress relief Stress poops. All right, Melvin went off to poop because I guess he's really that nervous But I can't meet mom and dad without him. So I'm just gonna keep looking around. Look, there's like these photos and <gasps> That is Melvin and that's me! That's babies! This has definitely got to be our house! If you guys didn't know, when we joined Project Zorgo a long time ago, they erased all of me and Melvin's memories. So we don't know anything about our past. We don't know our parents. We don't know if we have any other siblings. Luckily, Melvin and I found each other. We're all each other has. Wow, that was fast, Melvin! You pooped! That was a fast poop! Only because I found a comb, a brush. Maybe we could use it to find some DNA. Oh! Well Look what I found! Whoa! That's definitely you! Look at your face! Well, that's definitely you! Look at your face! You got a big head! <laughs> hey! Yeah! I was a baby! My my body didn't grow into my head yet! You got RBF! You know, resting baby face! I still have that. Except the B is different now. How do we know if we're related? Yeah, what are we even doing, Regina? A DNA test. I don't know how to do it. I don't either. Why don't we just go upstairs? Okay, yeah. Get ready, Melvin. Mom, Dad, coming upstairs. We've been looking for you for a long time. And you did send us here, so don't be alarmed. Why is it so dark? I can't see anything. Regina. Wait, this is our favorite food. Regina, nuggets. Melvin. Spinach. Spinach. If this food is freshly prepared, they gotta be right here. Mom, Dad, we're here. Tatai, nanai. What is that noise? No. Oh. What the heck? Why is there smoke? Oh. What the? <gasps> Mom, Dad, it's you. But Mom, but stop. It is not time yet. What do you mean it's not time? We're your children. We've been searching for you guys for months, for years even. We just want to give you a hug. Watch out for the lasers, Regina. Okay, well, we can't even give you guys a hug or anything. It is not safe yet, but you must know that we love you very, very much. We love you guys too. Do you think you guys can take your masks off so we can see your faces? My dear children, we cannot show you our faces until it is safe. Then tell us why you put us through all this to meet you guys here. And, and why it has to be so secretive. We just want to be a family again. Blazers, Regina. Oh, us four. Look at us. We could be a happy family. Dearest Melvin, dearest Regina, we know that this has been so hard on both of you. And it breaks our hearts. We have missed you so, so very much. 
we have been waiting so long to see you again. But this is how it has to be. We cannot be together until the two of you complete the mission. The mission you want us to complete is to bring back the Project Zorgo leader. Is that correct, Tatai? Why do you guys want us to bring back an evil man? My children, there is so much you do not understand yet. It's true. Your father and I must change this organization for the better, and we can only accomplish this with your help. Your mother is right. Project Sorgo has not always been an evil organization. It is, in fact, the most important organization on the face of the Earth, and the key to saving all of humanity. It is your destiny to bring back the leader, and bring back the power of Project Sorgo. Crap, sounds like a lot of work. <gasps> well, it might be worth it if you're saying that Project Zorro could be good again and that you two will take off your masks and we can become a family again. My sweet daughter, once you and your brother complete this mission, we can finally unmask and be together as a family once again. You must understand, we never wanted it to be this way. We never wanted to be apart from you. When this is done, nothing will ever come between us again. The four of us will be united as a family forever. Do you see, Melvin? Oh, 100% down. There's no doubt about it. Look at what we've done to get this far. We've already broken the hearts of hundreds of thousands of spy ninjas. We've lost the trust of our old friends, the spy ninjas. Most of the world hates us now. We cannot say no now. We cannot turn back from the mission that our parents have given us. It's probably why we were birthed to do this. You're right. We're in too deep now, Melvin. This is all that matters anyway. Family. We are so proud of you. So tell us, how do we bring back the Project Sorgo leader? Before you can bring back the leader, you must first find the leader. To find the leader, you must complete five steps. Okay. okay. The first step you must complete in order to locate the leader will be to find the beacon and turn the light green. You will see what to do next when step one is complete. What does he mean? We must return to the Black Pyramid and signal that Project Zorgo is back. I think that's what he means. The Black Pyramid. We have to return to it. Now you understand. In order for us to be a family once again, the leader of Project Zorgo must be found and brought back. Yes! Let's go!